Hey all, welcome back to Timbo's Food Box. I hope you're having a great day. Today I will be unboxing a box I just received from Crowd Cow. Let's get going with this video. I don't want to waste your time, but I do want to show you what's in this box. Crowd Cow. Oh my God. I feel like I just did a review the other day. Like seriously. I have another box of crow cow meat to review. I go through this stuff like it's water. I love crowd cow and I love their product that much. If you've been following along on my channel, you've probably watched a ton of these videos already. So I'm gonna pick one of my favorite videos by far yet and put it up above here if you wanna check out a more detailed video and unboxing. But I wanna quickly unbox this so I can go kick back and relax this afternoon because it's been a long day at work today. All right, so I got this box roughly two o'clock this afternoon. It is seven o'clock, all right? I was supposed to get this today and I got it on time. The unboxing I did the other day was essentially all red meat. This box of meat is gonna be very different than the last box I did. The last box I did, if you remember correctly, was Force of Nature. That one had venison, elk, bison, wild boar. I'm gonna link it right here, all right? If you wanna check out that video. This box right here is primarily focused on chicken, some beef products, some turkey products. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that I paid out of pocket for this, all right? Crowd Cow did not send me this box to review. I paid roughly around a hundred bucks. I am a member with Crowd Cow, so I do get additional discounts. So that's how I'm able to get a little bit cheaper. If I wasn't a member, it probably would have cost me 130, 140, plus I would have had to pay for shipping. All right, so we're talking like $160 worth of meat here. And I got for about $110. Well, 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 I got a little special for you. If you want to save $25, off your first order of crowd cow check out my description down below i'm going to put an affiliate link down below in my description and i'll also put it in my comments you click that link and you go through the whole process you're going to see 25 dollars in your checkout cart not a bad deal at all and if you shop during the holiday season Black Friday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, there's gonna be additional discounts. So you might be able to slash and get like free steaks and et cetera. Then you're gonna save an additional 25 bucks. Last year, I was able to save people $50. I don't know if they're gonna do that again this year. I don't know if that was just a COVID thing to get people to sign up. The more referrals I can provide them, the larger the discount they might give me. If they do up that promotional amount to say 50 or 175 any of those totals i'll make a quick youtube short and i'll post it up on my youtube channel as well as my instagram and facebook and i'll even send out an email i'll be sure to put a sign up link down below in my email description as well if you would like to sign up to get updates on new videos so let's get this box opened up and see what's inside Know your farmer, eat better meat. Let's go. I don't know if these people know me or not, and if they know I'm gonna make a review about them, but this is a smaller box. A few times ago, they sent me a smaller box, and it was paper, and I harassed the hell out of them about it. Well, now we got my favorite stuff in the world, the biodegradable stuff. The stuff that keeps the meat frozen forever. Like forever, I, I mean forever. Even if the dry ice melts, everything stays frozen. So we got our lovely note. Every time you get an order, you get a note from Crowd Cow. It's very personalized. Hi, Timothy. My name is Timothy. The only time I hear Timothy is usually when I'm in trouble. My mom always said, Timothy. I'm like, crap, I'm in trouble. 
Hi Timothy, your carved cow box is here. We hope you enjoy the chicken, beef, turkey, and more. One way to enhance the flavor of the chicken wings is to bind them in a salty solution, then coat them in a spicy rub before cooking. Check out recipes at crowdcow.com backslash recipes. Annie Rose. Thank you very much, Annie Rose, for the tip. Let's get in here. I'm not gonna talk about this foam because you have watched a previous video of me talking about that foam. I'm not gonna waste your time. All right, we got there a handy dandy paper. And I'm not gonna lie, I can feel the cold. I feel like I'm over a witch's pot right now. Hey, we got our first meat products. All right, hey guys. The first thing we got is something really cold because it's hard as a rock. All right, we got boneless, skinless chicken breast. All right, it's really great. No cracks in the packaging. Put that off to the side. Next one was a bit of a teaser because it was written all over that note I just read. We got organic chicken wings. Beautiful, they look huge. That's what I like to see. No cracks or tears in the packaging. All right. So they come in like these freeze dried packaging and they take all the air out and they don't take up a whole lot of room in your freezer as you see, which I love. All right, let me take out this really cool handy dandy wrapping paper, I call it. And because this meat is so damn frozen, I'm kind of scared not to look inside here because I don't want to touch dry ice and possibly lose my fingers from frostbite. All right, next thing here, we got some chicken thighs. All right, I love myself some chicken thighs. All right, certified humane, USDA organic. Meet the farmer. You can go online and see where this came from. It's not like you go in the grocery store and go, uh, meat clerk, where, where did this chicken come from? Guy's gonna raise his hand and go, let me go look at the box. Oh, it doesn't say, it just kind of said it came from this factory. Okay, I'm gonna sit on hold forever because they're not gonna pick up and they're not gonna tell you because they don't even know. So yeah, I know where this is coming from. If I hear anything on the news, I know it's up. All right, beautiful. All right. This is something cool that I wanted to check out. Oh, I'm a little disappointed though. So I bought a piece of steak. Online, it showed a very different picture than what I'm looking at right here. Boom. So this is a six ounce uh, Zubton steak. Mish, Mishma Reserve, American Wagyu beef. All right, so I had Wagyu as my very first video and I absolutely loved it. I saw this one online for like 23 bucks. And I was like, this is way too good to be true. I mean, it must be a mistake, right? And I was like, let me buy it. Well, let me see here. Look how damn small it is. It's a baby steak. 23 bucks for a small little steak. So this is gonna be a really good steak. I'm probably gonna cook it up in a frying pan and just eat it like is. But I'm gonna pop up a picture real quick of what it looked like on the Crowd Cows website and just kind of show you what the difference is. It's kind of deceiving a little bit, but it's also frozen, shrunk down in the packaging. So it might blow up a little bit once it thaws out. I don't know. All right, let's keep going here. I have not seen any dry ice and everything is frozen still. This is beautiful. We got some more chicken wings. All right. Oh my God, this one's freaking cold. Wow, I need gloves. There must be dry ice on top of this. Holy crap, that is, that, uh, I know. I'm slurring my words here. I'm gonna hold it by the ends. This is pork chops. 
really cold pork chops, 1.6 ounces. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Like it is smoking. I don't know if the camera does that, but check that out. Got some pork. I got two things of pork. I love pork chops. They're a staple for me. All right. I got some ground turkey thighs. Uh-oh. I found a problem. Turkey. Found a problem. This here will be a customer service issue. So the back of this packaging, there's a crack right there. So I see exposed turkey. It is frozen, but did that just happen because it's in this box and it's near the dry ice? It's being jumped around and shipping. I mean, it gets brittle, right? When it's really cold, anything can happen. A sharp corner or something. Here is another ground turkey thigh. This one's absolutely fine. All right, we got more chicken thighs. This is sitting essentially next to the dry ice. Really want to examine it. We are good to go. Feels a little weird, but I think we're good. Okay. We got some more chicken thighs. Do you see a trend here? I told you. I love myself some chicken. Last box was all red meat. This year is essentially all chicken, turkey, pork, a lot of the white stuff. Oh, and then uh, the steak. The white stuff, That's that just sounds bad. I don't like saying that. We got some chicken breast. Can't really even see it. There's so much frost all over it because it's legit sitting on top of the dry ice. We got two of these. And then we got one more down here. I'm afraid to touch it. This is ground chicken, 90-10. I got one package of ground chicken and two things of chicken thighs. And there you go, that's that. As you can see here, it looks like there's a whole lot more in here, but underneath here is where the dry ice is. And can I do this safely where I am not going to hurt myself because I don't have gloves. All right. So you see, oh, do you see that? There is three things of dry ice in here. Three. I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to use this cardboard box. All right. And they are all filled with dry ice. The last unboxing I did, force of nature, there was no dry ice. And there was two pieces of meat that were thawed out. And let me say, I cooked up the deer meat and the bison. Amazing. It was really good and not gamey at all. So I do say I do recommend that company and I will be making a follow-up video. So just take my word on it. If you want to check out that video, Force of Nature, right here, check it out. I'm going to put the video right here. Oh yeah, did I tell you that I can save you $25 off your first order? Check out my description and find out how you can. Just click the link and uh, you can choose how often you want the boxes of meat to come. You can be like me and get it every two weeks, or you can get it every eight weeks. I mean, that's a long time to wait for meat, but you can do it. <laughs>